Good morning, my friends. Today is Tuesday, January 17th. It is Tuesday of the second week in Ordinary Time. It's day eight of Be Formed. We're into our second week, and it's also the memorial of St. Anthony uh, Abbott. A little bit about St. Anthony. He was born around 251, and uh, he had a younger sister. Both of their parents died when he was about 18. And he remembers in church hearing uh, Matthew 19, 21. If you wish to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. He had inherited a lot of land, a lot of uh, wealth from his parents, and he decided to, to give away and sell everything that they had except what he needed to take care of his younger sister, being prudent, right? Uh, then, not too long after that, he heard Matthew 6, 34 being preached, do not worry about tomorrow. And so he, he got rid of everything else and he entrusted his sister to a convent to be raised and to be cared for. And he went out into the desert and uh, um, many people would come to him to, uh, to get insight and wisdom in, in the spiritual life. Talk about somebody who totally entrusted themselves uh, to God. And uh, he was uh, very important in the life of St. Benedict. St. Benedict was reading the writings of St. Anthony and forming his own um, religious order. So there's that question for us, how much, how far am I willing to go to trust in the providence of God? That kind of leads to our first reading uh, from the letter of Hebrews today. Uh, so he says, brothers and sisters, God is not unjust, so we have a just God, very important, so as to overlook your work and the love you have demonstrated. So God notices what we do. I know uh, sometimes we think, you know, it, it doesn't matter if I just have faith, it doesn't matter what we do. No, it, it, it is important. And Jesus says what you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do to me. So the work that we do, the love that we give away is very important uh, to God. Um, then he goes on to talk about God being our rock. As I, as I prayed through this first reading from Hebrews chapter 6, I just felt like God is our, our firm foundation. And said, he said, And so after patient waiting, Abraham obtained the promise. So God wants our perseverance, our faith, our trust. Have you ever had difficult times in life when you want to just get angry with God and dismiss God? I know I have at times and I go back to readings like this and God's saying, be patient, trust in me. You know, Abraham had to wait a long time for the fulfillment of his promise, but, but God fulfilled his promises as he always does. Abraham obtained the promise. Uh, and then he talks about the, the oath serves as a guarantee and puts an end to all argument. Um, I know in my own priesthood, the oaths that I took, the promise of celibacy and the promise of obedience to my bishop and his successors, the promise to pray for the people of God, those promises and oaths are so important to, during difficult times. Those of you who are married, you know, some people say, why do I get married? You know, it's just a piece of paper. No, when you make those vows and oaths to one another before God, there's grace there, and that's what helps you get through those difficult times because God is our rock foundation. It goes on to say, uh, it was impossible for God to lie. We who had taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to hold fast to the hope that lies before us. God doesn't lie. Jesus promised that he's, he's, he's going back to the Father. He's preparing a place for us. He will fulfill that promise. So no matter how difficult you, th you think things are, even death itself does not carry any power over us, only our earthly bodies, but our, our souls are, are destined for God. Hope fast to the hope that lies before us. This we have as an anchor uh, of the soul, sure and firm. That's why sometimes in, in uh, like the catacombs in Rome, you'll see an anchor as a sign of Christianity, meaning not that we sink, <laughs> The anchor is that firm foundation. When you put an anchor, uh, you know, in the ground, your boat stays firm. It, it, it's solid. No matter how difficult the winds and waves get, we can stand firm. And so we don't drift. We don't just kind of wander through life. 
we put our faith in God, we persevere in faith and trust that he always fulfills his promises. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the promises you've made to us. Help us to be aware of the promises we make to you. Help us to stand firm in you, to drop our anchor next to you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To your family, buen camino, and God bless you.